Hey guys, we're here with another Pokemon X and Y ba Wi-Fi battle. Uh, this was another one I had on Battle Spot versus some random, I think, Japanese person. I don't know. But as you can see, I have a really freaking strong team of Blaziken, Garchomp, and Greninja. So this person was probably pretty scared when they saw my team, just in general, on the Battle Spot. Because I came pretty rude. Oh my god. Sorry, the thing's not focusing. I'll see that do anything. No. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you can see, I saw the Cluck Q, which made me a little nervous, and the Togekiss, because it can just flinch hack me to death. So, uh, let's begin. Let's see what happens. Here we go. As I always do, I lead off with the Greninja of Awesomeness. Because I can, and because it does damage to just about anything. And this person leads off as her Klefki. So, first off, she goes for the light screen, which was a smart move on her part, because it's going to raise her special defense. I didn't want to switch in anything, so I just kind of went for the Surf, hoping it'll do a decent amount of damage to this thing. And luckily for me, it doesn't kill. <laughs> it does that much, which isn't good for me. And then he just goes for the Thunder Wave, which totally cripples my Greninja. I didn't want anything to actually take a Thunder Wave. I expected that to come up. So I just kind of left Greninja in as not paralyzed fodder, if that makes any sense. I don't know. And then I go for a Surf and get really lucky and get a critical hit and kill this thing. And it would have mattered. It would have lived another turn, but it probably wouldn't have been able to kill me. So I don't know what would have happened. Then they just she goes out into her... Toe kiss, which is just <laughs> gonna f air slash paralysis, not a good combination, just gonna freaking flinch me to death. And yeah, so I couldn't go for the ice beam and get some damage on this thing. So Greninja faints. And then I go out of my Garchomp because this thing is fairy type, so a poison jab will be super effective on it. But it actually outspeeds me as my voice cracks. It outspeeds me. And doesn't do a ton, and I can go for the poison jacks. Luckily, it didn't get the flinch axe. And it almost kills it, but doesn't. Even with what well, was a critical hit, which is lucky for me. And then she goes for the air slash again and flinches. Me. Or no, critical hits me, which is revenge for the two critical hits I got during this battle. <gasps> Whew. And then I go into my blade skin. And I'm like, well, uh, it was pretty fast, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Mega Evolve and Protect, get the speed boost up and running, because plus one speed Blaziken is pretty devastating, if you ask me. So, yeah, go for the Protect. And he goes for the Air Slash, which I Protect, blah, blah, blah. I know I can kill this thing, since it's in red health, and I just go for a Blaze Kick, which will finish this thing off. So this, I wasn't sure what this person's last Pokemon was, and I was wondering if I could win this or not. I was hoping I could, but I had no guarantees. And she goes out into her SB, and I'm just like, crap, because it's going to one-shot me, obviously. And I assumed it would be able to live one of these, but it doesn't. I was so surprised, because I guess it's more especially defensive than defensive, so I can't take a Blaze Kick, which kind of surprised me. But So I actually won that... Um, so, the moral of the story... I'm not going to do that again like the last one. But, anyway, guys, thank you so much, Renchie. If you want to see more of these videos, leave a like below or something. I don't really care. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is a dragged-out intro. Good. Bye.